Hello there YouTube, and just a quick announcement before we go on to the main topic of this video. The Shredder is indeed going to be in London for the big YouTube gathering taking place October 1st to October 3rd. Um, this event is being organised by the user DLand and Cole, and if you'd like more information, well, you're just going to have to wait till the end of this video. Now on to the main topic, and it seems indeed the Shredder has been busted. My name should not be Shredder is Alive, but Shredder is a sub whore. At least that's according to certain members of the League of Reason forums and Thunderbitch fanboys. Indeed, um, I, I apparently don't believe any of the shit I said against Thunderbitch or the League of Reason. Um, uh, you know, I, I, I've said all this purely for attention. I, I mean, the, there was a comment in particular was from um, a, a fanboy of Thunderbitch's that he actually subscribed to called Insight New. Um, the, the last part of the comment was the most telling part of his attitude, which was, uh, he has 100,000 plus subs, you don't get over it, sub whore. Hmm. Now, it's interesting, nobody was calling me a sub whore when I went after Onision, and that guy has, correct me if I'm wrong, twice the number of subscribers that Thunderbitch has, but no, no, no. If, if, the, if the League of Reason is saying this, and Thunderbitch fanboys are saying this, it has to be true. And while we're on the subject of ridiculous claims, it turns out Sable Chicken just won Mr. Universe. Now, I know some of you just tuning in are thinking, well, Shredder, you're just being childish, why the fuck are you calling him Thunderbitch? Well, the reason I'm calling him Thunderbitch is because he is a bitch. Let me explain. Just a quick question to you, Thunderbitch. Uh, do you have anything resembling male genitalia down there, or is fact versus the religion the one with the cock in your relationship? I'm curious to know, because you don't seem to act like a man or even an adult. It's more of a case of you act like a, a, a bitchy teenage girl in high school. You're willing to talk shit about someone to everyone else, but not address the person you're talking shit about. A uh, perfect example was when you left that comment with Red Fist of Europe calling Coughlin666 a childish emo whore after the Block TV debacle. Oh, Thunderbitch has apparently got back in touch with Red Fist and called him a backstabber, so... Uh, that kind of shows Thunderbitch's attitude. Yeah, Red Fist is a backstabber for informing Coughlin you were talking shit about him. Yeah, bravo, Thunderbitch. Great reasoning on your part. Thunderbitch has um, subscribed to this user called Insight New and favorited one of his videos called Childish Emo Whore vs. Reality. Now, the reason he's done this is because Insight New has done what Thunderbitch could not do, or at least not do and sound convincing while he does it, and that's lie and spin what actually happened in that blog TV discussion with Rithram Dill, Red Fist of Europe, Coughlin666, and d and Cole. You see, Insight New is trying to spin things to suggest that Thunderbitch was lured into that conversation so they could ambush him and embarrass him in front of about 50 people. Well... Not quite true, is that, Insight New? Because you can check out the videos at Rithrandil's blog TV channel. I'll post links just down below, and you can find out what actually happened. But just in case you're too lazy to do that, I'll explain just now as briefly as I can. Red Fist of Europe, Rithrandil, and Coughlin666 were in a Skype conversation, and Red Fist of Europe sprung it on them just all of a sudden that he wanted to bring in Thunderbitch. Rithrandil and Coughlin had no idea Thunderbitch was coming in, uh, but they said, okay, sure. Coughlin666, unfortunately, his computer crashed, so it was just Rith, Red Fist, and uh, Thunderbitch in the conversation. Thunderbitch started pulling facts out of his ass. d -Land and Cole, getting more and more frustrated, decided to join the conversation, and he politely corrected Thunderbitch, and, and I'm just going to paraphrase him here. This isn't what he said, I'm paraphrasing. So he respectfully said, hey, you're pulling this stuff out your ass. And then he verbally shoved all those facts that Thunderbitch was pulling out from there straight back up without lubrication. Eventually, it got to the point that Coughlin666 got back and he became as equally frustrated as d and Cole was. And he eventually just decided to verbally give Thunderbitch a falcon punch into his mangina. When Thunderbitch decided that he was going to talk about blasphemy laws and then say, oh, well, they're not enforced, and then when Coughlin corrected him on that, try and move the goalposts, say, oh, well, nobody's been killed. Coughlin called him out on his bullshit, and then when, that's when Thunderbitch basically pumped out the conversation. So, Thunderbitch, it's quite telling that you would decide to favorite this video rather than make one of your own uh, regarding the criticism of you and that blog TV debate. As I said, you can check out the videos for yourself, and you can see the shredder is indeed on the level. Thunderbitch was not lured into anything. It was an informal discussion, and he decided to pull facts out of his ass and got them handed straight back to him. That's it. No spin. But the Shredder has even more proof of how much of a bitch Thunderbitch actually is. This nugget of gold fell into my lap just a couple of days ago. This is a Skype chat log involving Thunderbitch and another YouTuber. 
Now, I'm not going to reveal Thunderbitch's Skype name because, let's face it, I could get kicked off for dock dropping and I don't want people harassing Thunderbitch over Skype. And I'm also not going to be revealing the name of the YouTuber that he was talking to on the simple grounds that, well, I don't want Thunderbitch fanboys going and stalking that guy either. So for the purpose of this chat log, I'm just going to refer to Thunderbitch as Thunderbitch, and this other YouTuber will be known as Dr. Robotnik. Why Dr. Robotnik? It's my video. Uh, but uh, just in case anyone thinks that I'm lying, uh, when I s and I have no proof that this is indeed Thunderbitch, well, just in case you're watching Thunderbitch, does your Skype account profile name happen to rhyme with the words Killing Inertia? Anyway, let's get on to the chat log. Okay, who's sexier, Scouse Caspa or Steph Zula? And yes, I will tell them. Lol, I'd do both to be honest. One sec, someone sent me something. Okay, is it evidence of God? Okay, now you would think at this point in the conversation that Thunderbitch's answer should have been extremely simple. Even a guy like Truthful Christian could have come up with something like this. Ah, Casper. The world's greatest poets could work from now until the end of time and not sum up a billionth of that woman's radiant beauty. And Steph Zula. If ever there was a woman that made me question the existence of angels. But no, Thunderbitch instead decided to pull up a quote that Scouse Casper left on one of my videos. A video called An Open Letter to the League of Treason Part 2. Now, I'm very, very doubtful that somebody sent you this specific quote, and I don't think Scouse Casper actually publishes comments that she leaves on her YouTube page, so I think this is more likely that you have been going through and reading the comments and seeing who said what about you, because I think you're that much of an egotistical dick. But anyway, because I'm such a sub whore and I really crave the attention, I've now have the lovely Scouse Casper herself reading the comment that she left, while for, well, primarily my entertainment, but for your entertainment as well, we play her stripper video. Enjoy. Brilliant video. I lost a lot of respect for Auntie Boo when he completely ignored people calling Dawa Films a pedophile and accusing him of promoting it in his comment section. Frankly, I don't care what you think of someone. If you have any integrity, you would call out people spouting bullshit like that. Thunderfoot is a coward. The League of Reason is one massive circle jerk. None of them will call out the bullshit going on in their own little clique. Ace Video Shredder. Now, I have to apologize that Casper wasn't her usual fiery self when she was reading that comment. I'm not going to go into the specifics of what the Scouts and the Shredder were getting up to at the time, but I'll let your minds fill in the blanks. In the meantime, let's get back to the conversation with Thunderbitch, starting off with Thunderbitch. Figure that means Scouts hates me. Personally, I don't care, but I can see where she comes from. People get pissed easily on YouTube. The path to friend to hated individual can be walked in a few moments. Sorry, path from. If she says that, why don't you just invite her to a chat or make a video showing her you do rather than just let people hate? To be honest though, I spent fucking ages bothering with creationist retards and I'm not as well known as you. So, you're friends with Scouse? Well, I'd like to think so, but I ain't spoken to her in a while. She's more of an acquaintance, or however you spell it. Meh. The above message oozes personal hate. Yeah, but doesn't hate have a reason? Nope. What do you mean? People don't just hate for no reason. Fucking Xbox Live. When your channel icon is someone's crotch, you are no longer forwarding an opinion, but have unveiled your intentions as vitriolic spite. I don't understand, sorry. Use small words. Like, cat. What is the icon on Scouse's YT page? Channel icon. Dunno, let me look. Oh. Well. How is that a reason she hates you, sorry? I'm saying people have a reason to hate. Fuck what her channel icon is. I put my crotch on, but it wouldn't fit in that small box. I think her actions simply speak for her intentions. Yeah, her actions are making comments and videos on what she hates, and her intentions are to voice the same. Let me say this simply. Why do you think she hates you? Why you think she's saying that? I mean, even if she was a bitch in her period, she would still have a reason. To be honest, I don't care to psychoanalyze someone who acts in such a childish fashion. It's just not something that greatly bothers me. Yeah, I get that you don't care, but I'm asking why. Why do you think she is like this, regardless of who she is? Again, folk who act in this sort of fashion rarely have anything to add. No, maybe I'm not asking right, sorry. 
I do have issues wording what I want to say right. Thunder bitch, why do you think she feels this way about you? I get that you don't care what she thinks, fuck what she thinks, but she still must have a reason for this issue with you. I had to be curt, but I'm preparing for a conference. And you're asking me to repeat myself for a third time. No, you're not answering me. I'm not being rude or anything. I'm asking why you think she hates you, and you're telling me you just don't care. With respect, work takes priority over rationalizing the behavior of the childish to someone over Skype. If it really bothers you that much, why not ask her? Later, dude. Okay, you didn't seem busy before, but I understand. Take care. So there you go, the gist of the end of that conversation, Thunderbitch is looking down his nose at Scouse Casper for posting an image of his crotch as our channel icon page, like I've been posting in my videos, oh wait, sorry that reminds me, excuse me, Keep my dick, motherfucker! and other users have been using for their channel icon. But yes, indeed, the, it's clear the Scouse absolutely despises Thunderbitch, but Thunderbitch will not go into the specifics as to why. He thinks it's just childish, and he will not address anyone who he considers childish. Well, here's the problem, Thunderbitch. Um, if you're going to try and look down your nose at somebody for being childish, and I'm one of the most childish motherfuckers on this website, if you're going to look down at your nose for, on someone for being childish, don't post childish shit yourself. Oh no, I've been death threatened by a self proclaimed moderate Muslim reading from the Quran. So there's this batshit crazy guy. Sorry, I forgot to present both sides of the argument. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Come to America and start gunning people down on the street who disagree with you? I will demonstrate that I have more power in my little finger than the Islamic God Allah. But let's make this more exciting. Let's go for not just the Islamic God Allah, but his prophet Muhammad and a billion Muslims all joined in prayer with him. This is the Prophet Muhammad depicted as a squirrel in slow motion. I did this. And even if your religion does make you deranged enough to kill an unarmed proponent of free speech on the streets of America, under the free you know. The test is simple. Who can move the most balls in the shortest amount of time? My little finger or Allah, Mighty Mo, and a billion Muslims all joined in prayer. So here goes. Ooh, that's one zero to my little finger. All you can do is broadcast to the world that you're a bunch of nasty, deranged religious nutters from some barbaric Middle Eastern cult by killing a few brave men who refuse to submit to your tyranny. Let me guess, Allah wasn't ready and wants a do-over. Ooh, 2-0. And one last time, just to be sure, this time in slow motion. Sorry boys, looks like my little finger is greater than your God, his prophet, and every single Muslim on the planet joined with him in prayer. Now Thunderbitch, since I know you're not going to address any of these criticisms, along with the criticisms of users like Coughlin, or any other fucking user on this website, I'm going to make a little suggestion to you. Maybe you should stop talking shit about people behind their back, because whenever a chat log falls into someone's hands like this, it kind of does show you more to be a bigger bitch than you already are. So, to put it simply, Thunder Bitch, man up or shut the fuck up. Your choice. I'm trying to live life, see it before me all my life, not life, stop